today we're gonna be going over some of the most common myths about electric skateboarding. This video will be great for anybody who's new to electric skateboarding or looking to get their first board. My first board, I actually got it pre-owned off of Facebook Marketplace and got a great deal on it. So that brings us to our first point. Myth number one, electric skateboarding is way too expensive. When you guys start getting into it and start looking into boards, you're definitely gonna see a lot over that $1,000 price point. I'm here to tell you, you don't need those. Buying pre-owned is one of your best options available. Not only do you get a great board from a reputable company at a great price, you also lower the stakes of learning how to ride. While you're riding and learning on your first board, this will give you time to realize what features and specs are important to you. That way you know exactly what to invest in your next board. For example, I got my board for less than $200. So yes, while electric skateboarding can be an expensive hobby, getting started doesn't have to be. Moving on to myth number two, reliability is a concern. I get why you'd say this, because bikes and traditional longboards don't have a powertrain. However, if you keep up with your relatively simple maintenance, your board's reliability should not be a concern. Going back to cost, because there's so little maintenance and you don't have to pay for gas, the cost of ownership is quite low. In fact, you'll actually save 51 cents per mile when you use your electric longboard instead of using your traditional car. Our third myth is probably the most thought about and widespread myth. Electric longboards are not safe. Everybody's seen those videos of people bombing down hills, going through traffic, hitting 60 miles an hour on a board. I'm here to tell you, you don't have to do that. You should ride within your limits, whatever makes you feel comfortable, have fun, wear the right protection gear, and you'll be all good. In fact, in some ways, electric skateboards are actually safer than your traditional longboard. When people think of these boards, they think of how much force it can use to propel you forward, but they don't consider that same amount of force can be used to slow you down. Not only can these brakes help you slow down down a hill or if you have too much speed, they can also help you avoid unforeseen obstacles such as people, cars, animals, and intersections. So again, this myth is partially true. If you're riding to your board's limits, there's obviously gonna be an inherent increase in danger. However, in day-to-day -day riding, it can actually be a lot safer. Myth number four, electric skateboards are a hassle to have with you. While there are a lot of big, bulky options that are hard to carry, there's also some smaller ones that are more compact, easier to carry, and made specifically to commute through a city and bring into an office. For example, if I'm going on a nice, long ride on a trail just like this, I'll probably bring my Duo. However, if I'm commuting to work and I'm going into a space that doesn't have a lot of room to store things or to charge my board, I'll bring my Tato. While carrying a board can be annoying at times, there's some intrinsic benefits that come along with it, including not having to leave it outside on a bike rack like you would with a bicycle. Is having the board with you a hassle? Yes, but only if you don't take the time to figure out which board is best for you and your lifestyle. For our final myth, long boards only work well on pavement. This myth mainly applies to people who are considering something like a bike or an electric longboard. All longboards are meant to ride on pavement. So if you're looking to ride off-road or any other kind of surface, it's important to make sure that you have the right kind of wheels and accessories. You're not gonna get your electric longboard to the same level of off-road capability as a mountain bike. You'll definitely be able to go through certain trails and shortcuts. We hope this video cleared up some of these electric skateboarding myths for you and your friends. If you guys are interested in learning more about any of the topics we addressed, or want to learn more about anything else, be sure to check out our channel, which is great for anybody new to eSkate. You know that SpongeBob line? Hi, Kevin.